FBI just make sick admission about Shooter's girlfriend after one witness dead and another's house burned. It's been 15 days since the world woke up to the horrific news of what happened in Las Vegas, where Shooter Stephen Paddock rained down hell on a crowd of innocent people. The investigation and information has gotten stranger by the day since then as more questions arise than answers into the killer's motive and if he was working alone or not. While there's still a lot of debate over a second shooter, one key witness who possibly had information on that is dead and now another concert goer's home has been burned to the ground. For at least the last week, it's been rather quiet on anything to do with Mary Lou Danley who was dating Paddock at the time of the shooting. She was brought back to the U.S. from the Philippines, where Paddock had sent her on a surprise vacation presumably so she wouldn't get in the way of his sinister plans. Just as there's been inconsistencies in the timeline of the massacre, there seems to be the same for who exactly Danley was and what she knew. Just 48 hours after word broke of key witness Kimberly Succo Metal's untimely death, it was revealed that another concert goers had also met an unfortunate demise after returning home from this horror. Last Sunday, I was running from bullets. This Sunday, I was running from fire, Michelle Flores said about her Santa Rosa, California home, Independent reported. The hits keep coming for Flores who can't seem to escape calamity in the last couple of weeks, after returning from the horrific gunfire only to find out that wildfires had destroyed her home. Flores, 51, had been outside the perimeter of the Route 91 Harvest Festival in Las Vegas watching the country music performers from outside the fence, when Stephen Paddock opened fire, killing 58 people and injuring more than 500, the Independent added. The shooting situation keeps getting odder since there are no answers into what happened and many who happen to be there keep facing unfortunate events. Although the fire was not related to the shooting, the constant series of bad luck for so many of these victims is very strange. As we previously reported, 28-year-old Kimberly Succomel was found dead in her Apple Valley home just days after she made a detailed public post online of her first-hand account of the shooting and what investigators are trying to hide. Succomel was at the ill-fated Route 91 country concert and survived the shooting and had been on a mission to expose that there were multiple shooters that evening until she suddenly wound up dead. The cause of death was suspected to be a seizure or possible brain aneurysm but the timing was obscure and certainly unfortunate. Now, what's coming out about Paddock's girlfriend after days of silence regarding what she knows is compounding how questionable this entire investigation is turning out to be. While it was initially reported that Danley had no clue into what her boyfriend had been planning, despite living with him up until weeks before the attack, the FBI is insisting that she was simply his caretaker, and not his lover. This admission to the public even goes against Stanley's own description of her relationship with Paddock, so why would authorities want to change what even she herself told them? Metro reports. ABC News reported that Danley's relationship with Paddock changed over time, evolving from intimate companion to more of a caretaker for him. Caretaker may be a bit strong as Stanley frequently traveled outside of the country and there are conflicting reports about whether or not Danley believed Paddock had mental issues. NBC News reported that two former FBI officials said that Danley believed Paddock had displayed mental health symptoms and that he would lie in bed and scream, oh my god. However, a Las Vegas Review Journal report from October 10 said, contrary to published reports, Paddock's girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley, told investigators in Los Angeles she had no concerns about, Paddock's, mental health. It appears like authorities are trying to cover more details up, even those which seem innocuous like the title or arrangement that Danley had with her boyfriend. Caretaker makes her sound compassionate but also less involved with him intimately and paints a picture about Paddock that he was mentally and physically inept. This could perhaps lead into a motive authorities come up with that we may soon hear about to silence all the controversy. Since Stanley referred to herself. Since Stanley referred to herself as his girlfriend, it's just another inconsistency in a long list of what seems like misinformation in the FBI's investigation. If nothing else, the relationship, of any kind, was a convenient financial situation for Danley. There have been unvalidated rumors that Danley was a CIA operative at one point in her life, 
which is definitely a stretch to say and an actual conspiracy theory. While she may have been totally oblivious about her boyfriend's plans and didn't question much about his whereabouts or activities while she enjoyed the life he provided her, it's questionable as to why the FBI would want to call her his caretaker now 15 days later when Danley didn't even refer to herself as that.